It's the size of a two-story building, all of it underground. It's a stormwater cleaner, a nitrogen trap. It's called a baffle box. Along US-1 near Masterson, workers lowered it into the ground this week, six sections, one at a time, each section weighing 43,000 pounds. It will keep that trash and debris and nitrogen from ever even going close to the lagoon. It's a simple idea. Storm water flows into the baffle box, which filters out polluting silt and trash before it can flow into the Indian River Lagoon. This right here is the lagoon's biggest problem, a huge storm drain that carries runoff from fertilized lawns, streets, 500 acres worth, and all this water is on its way to the lagoon. But now it'll be stopped in the baffle box. The most important thing the box will trap is nitrogen, found in the black, mucky sediment and silt that flows in with the storm water. Nitrogen feeds the brown, suffocating algae in the lagoon water. Algae blocks the sunlight, draws oxygen out of the water, and that's what kills the plants, the fish, and the animals that live in the lagoon. The giant baffle box is one of 50 cleanup projects underway for the lagoon out of 250 total projects planned, using $450 million from a 10-year sales tax hike. With the will of the people and the progress we're seeing, we can get there. The box should be ready to start filtering stormwater in a couple of weeks. In Melbourne, Dan Billow, WESH 2 News.